switch your roles to clicks with the best games to play on PC if you love Dungeons & Dragons. So your D&D party has been cancelled and there you are with a pile of snacks and a free evening. What exactly are you going to do? Well, play video games? Nothing fills the vast emptiness of time than whiling away hours in a virtual world. And you were about to use your brain for something similar anyway. Get ready then to lose yourself in expansive settings, absorbing stories and some fantasy themed fun with 10 games that'll make you say, dungeons and what now? So forget about your friends, take up your sword and shield and screw your magic to the sticking place. It's time for the PC games that rival the satisfaction of rolling small plastic dice. Yeah, this is, it's fun, right? By now, it's unlikely that you'll need someone else to tell you to play Skyrim. Matt has done it ten times over. But that doesn't mean The Elder Scrolls V can't be on this list. Because, let's face it, nothing says Dungeons & Dragons more than, well, Dungeons & Dragons. Here you can journey on a quest of epic proportions and explore a vast open world that will keep you busy for far, far longer than your to-do list would like. Plus, unlike regular D&D, you can chop and change your skills and abilities throughout the game, switching from stealthy archer to two-handed warrior just by putting the practice in. Of course, the best part is you've still got your own faithful fireball, although the dragons may be a little better at it than you. Oh, and remember, no one likes real-life shouting Fuzzroda. Just a warning. What better way to replace Dungeons & Dragons than a video game based on the actual rules of the second edition? It's time to head to the beloved Forgotten Realms through Baldur's Gate 2. This remaster of the original series provides old-school isometric thrills as you and a party of adventurers battle enemies, complete quests and find out why a weird old wizard is experimenting on you. From solving murders to helping child ghosts, there's all manner of spooky, intriguing, dungeoneering fun to be had. Of course, you could go around hacking and slashing as much as you like, but just like regular D&D, you can expect some consequences. Other party members will happily let you know when they think your ideas are stupid, harmful or just downright evil, which makes it alarmingly similar to your usual tabletop sessions. With a new third edition coming up, it's the perfect time to have a crack at the game and do an ability check to see if you're ready. Stand where you're at. Peasant. First off, it has dragon in the title. Is this entry over yet? Well, no, but Dragon Age has already had its lore turned into a tabletop game of its very own. Inquisition pops you in the boots of a protagonist worthy of a teen drama as you save the world by closing demonic rifts with newly obtained magical powers. Whilst it may not be a fully open world experience, don't let that put you off, as exploration is still encouraged, with plenty of opportunities to find interesting new places. Chances are that you'll be having enough fun on the main quest that you'll rarely want to venture anywhere else. And for those that love the combat of D&D, Dragon Age provides a similar strategic approach, with a chance to pause and decide not only your own moves, but those of the whole party. Something we've Aside all wished to do in a campaign at some point or other. Yes, we're looking at you, Hurundai the Reckless. You can't be serious. After an incredibly enthusiastic Kickstarter campaign where half a million dollars was raised in under 12 hours to bring the sequel to life, Divinity Original Sin 2 arrived to near universal acclaim from RPG fans. And the good news is that you won't feel too far from your IRL pen and paper loving ways. The tactical turn-based combat of Divinity is familiar for tabletop players of all kinds, with everything from the elements to terrain coming into play. If you freeze the water under an enemy's foot, for example, they'll head to higher ground for a better position, making every battle a realistic challenge. Unlike other role-playing games, you can easily make mistakes too, such as killing an NPC before a quest has even begun, making it much more like your usual D&D sessions where mishaps are all part of the experience. Oh, oops. 
This entry is for all those who miss the comfort blanket of their DM narrating every move. In Bastion, the voice of a narrator describes your adventure like a lovely, if slightly combat-heavy bedtime story. So sit back, well, maybe not, maybe stay alert, and enjoy the dulcet tones of a rich southern accent. He gets up, sets off for the Bastion, where everyone agreed to go in case of trouble. Let him warn you that falling off the edge of the world isn't deadly, deepen your understanding of the story, and become the very best you can. Here you play as one of the few survivors trying to get to the safety of Bastion after a catastrophic event, but luckily a wiped out civilization has never looked so good. While Bastion might not provide the endless choices you know and love from D&D, it's still a great way to hack at monsters, uncover a mysterious story, and let someone narrate your awesome actions like a true hero. He steals the city's heart, might as well. Sometimes you need a little break from those muscle-numbing nine-hour sessions, but you don't want to step too far away from the fun of D&D. In Crawl, then, the whole party can enjoy the game together, as this local multiplayer game pits you against your friends to beat a dungeon. The twist is that not everyone will be playing as the hero. After an initial battle to determine who has the luxury of being human, no, it's not a given, three players must become the monsters and use everything they have to stop the adventurer escaping the dank, dark lair. Whoever reaches level 10 and beats the boss first wins, but luckily you even get to control the big bad, steering individual limbs and taking on powers to command the beasts that dwell below. Get ready to hoard loot, upgrade weapons, and, oh yeah, kill your friends. This game is for all those DMs who aren't quite ready to give up the power of battling, trapping, and killing their faithful players. War for the Overworld is here to let you channel that manic and sometimes evil energy in a safe space by creating a demonic lair and watching computer-controlled adventurers fighting their way through your perfectly designed hellscape. In true villainous style, you get to carve out your very own dream dungeon, complete with loyal minions, demons, lava and unicorns? War for the Overworld is a god game where the devil isn't just on your shoulder, but completely in charge of your mouse and keyboard. Mine to expand your dungeon, manage your employees, who are just as tricky as you'd expect a horde of evil workers to be, and get creative with the ways to stop those pesky overworld humans from destroying your domain. If you love your bad decisions coming back to haunt you, potentially at 3am, then the Banner Saga is the perfect game for you. Ok, that's not a great advert, but we promise it's worth it. Here, you'll travel through a Viking land, trying to keep people safe in a world populated with hateful dredge and a sun that never rises. With choices aplenty, you're constantly making decisions that genuinely matter to the road ahead. Inviting someone to a fight might end in their death. And just like D&D and the majority of characters in Telltale games, people will remember that. The combat too is simple but fun, with size and armour constantly coming into play. Plus, of course, it's the beautiful animation that makes this a standout choice, so you can dreamily lose yourself in those lovely Viking eyes. Ah. <sighs> Now, don't think we've forgotten about all you bards out there. If you're used to getting out of sticky situations without a battle and generally flexing that plus five charisma, then After Party is the game for you. It revolves around two lifelong friends who find themselves trapped in hell, and the only way to escape is to outdrink Satan. Yes, in bars, with drinks. Yes, Satan. From Oxenfree's Night School Studios, you'll find yourself chatting with the residents of the underworld and having dance-offs and games of beer pong. Each encounter allows you to select a positive, negative or random choice that's entirely dependent on whatever you're drinking, so your night can quickly get out of hand. It's not quite the perpetual nightmare of facing off in one of the layers of D&D hell, but charming your way through the afterlife isn't always easy. One thing's for sure, though, it's a hell of a night out. Yeah, Tuesdays are always slow. The custodians get bored. You know how it is. Just because your friends haven't turned up, it doesn't mean you DMs have to give up an evening of puppeteering the weaker-minded. 
Six Ages Ride Like the Wind is all about calling the shots. Here you can indulge in an ongoing story set in a fantasy Bronze Age, where you get to decide every step of the journey throughout history. Get stuck into managing a clan by picking which gods to follow and reject, explore new lands to set trade routes, or just pillage rival tribes for all the horses and cattle you could want. Without pesky players in the way, there's no risk of someone burning down your well-crafted masterpiece either. We've all been there. So you can create your dream village in peace. Regular D&D players will feel right at home too, thanks to the clan circle, who are around to advise on all major decisions, and will be happy to lend conflicting, confusing, and sometimes helpful ideas, just like your usual excursions on the tabletop. So, that's the best games to play on PC if you love Dungeons & Dragons. Let us know in the comments below if you've got any other game suggestions that make you consider cancelling the weekly tabletop session, and subscribe to Logitech G to enjoy more lists just like this one. If you do already subscribe, make sure to hit that notification bell so that you know when our next video lands.